I'm super excited to show you guys the Power Cushion Infinity that Yonex has just sent me. It's actually a unisex shoe, so it's gonna be the same model for both men's and women's, just different sizing. It's technically the second version of the Power Cushion Infinity shoe that's out. The first version also had the BOA lacing system, which we'll talk about in the video, but this version has some really nice upgrades to it as well. Some of the things I'm gonna cover in today's video are the new design and technology, the weight of the shoes, the sizing and the fit, the comfort and the support, the grip and the durability, the options that you have, and how much it's actually gonna cost you. Hey there, my name's Howard and I'm an Olympic badminton player. I'm here to share with you guys some badminton content, but also show you guys what it's like to be an independent athlete. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You guys can also find me over on Instagram, at Shoes On My Feet, so let's get into it. Let's talk about the new design and technology. The thing that you'll notice first is that this shoe no longer has your traditional shoelaces. Instead, it has the trademark BOA Fit system, which uses two dials to basically tighten and loosen the shoes. How do these actually work? So right here, you'll see these two dials, which are used to tighten and untighten the shoes. The first one right here, which is for this front area where the toes are, and the second one is actually for this midsection where the ankle is. To use these, what you do is you just press down on the dial and you turn these knobs clockwise and you'll hear these clicks as it's tightening and you'll also see the strings pull on the flaps when the shoe is tightening like this. To release the tension, you actually just pull out the dial like this and it releases all the slack from the flap and basically loosens the entire shoe. The BOA lacing system is actually a company of its own, so it's actually really cool to see it make its partnership all the way over to badminton shoes. I've seen them over in golf shoes before and even cycling shoes, but this is my first time using shoes with this lacing mechanism without the traditional laces. The next thing you'll notice is actually called the inner booty. Instead of the traditional tongue that you get on most shoes, you get this slip-in design that is actually really stretchy, but still gives you a really snug fit. Another thing that you'll see at the bottom of the shoe is Yonex's proprietary graphite sheet, which helps generate power and responsiveness to your steps. You get the round edges at the front of the shoe and also at the heel of the shoe. This is nice because you don't ever want any unwanted edges on your shoes that might prevent you from smooth lateral movements when you drag your feet. To the insole of the shoe, you get the Power Cushion Plus technology, which is super bouncy, and it really helps absorb some of the shocks from the jumps and power movements that you're making. Let's talk a little bit about the weight of these shoes, and I have my trusty scale here to help us out. To give you guys a direct comparison, I actually have here with me three pairs of Yonex's shoes so that we can look at the weights of each of them. Let's start with the Power Cushion Infinity and let's see how much these weigh. The Power Cushion Infinity is coming in at about 310 grams. Next we have the Aris, which we all know is a very light shoe, so let's see how much these weigh. So these are actually about 275 grams. And then here we have the Eclipse on Z, so let's see how much these weigh. And these come out to be the heaviest around 364 grams. So the Power Infinities actually are right in between the Aris and the Eclipse Ons. After wearing the shoes, I will say that they do feel pretty light. I was very surprised because I thought the lacing system would make them heavier, but as you can see, after we weighed them, they're actually lighter than the Eclipse on Z's. As far as sizing, I would say that these run pretty true to size. You don't need to size up or down, and I would just recommend getting your actual size on these. As far as fit though, I will say that they are a pretty snug fit because of the inner booty that tighten as you use the adjusters. To me though, this is a really good thing because you don't want your feet sliding around at all with all the sharp lateral movements that we make in our sport. However, I will probably say that these are probably not the best shoe of choice for people with wide feet because of the snug fit.
Sometimes there are shoes that feel like they don't really fit your feet out of the box, but I'll tell you, that is not the case with these though. The ankle area right here is not too high and not too low, and it also is really firm, so you get this really supported feeling around your entire foot. There's a ton of cushioning on the inside, and the outside material just feels really sturdy and not flimsy at all. These shoes are still brand new, but there's always a few things that I look for when I check for the durability of the shoes. The first thing is the overall outer material of the shoe, which Yonex calls a synthetic fiber. It doesn't seem like it will get dirty very easily because of the metallic nature, but it almost feels like it's even waterproof. The first area that usually starts to break down on a shoe is this side area where you drag for your footwork. As you can see here, it has this extra rubber edge that is meant for you to slide on on the court. Now, if you look at the bottom of the shoes, you'll see the hex pattern. That I've always had extremely good grip on all types of surfaces with this rubber sole and this type of hex pattern. And after just a short session, I will say that these did have very good grip. Let's talk about the options and pricing of the shoe. You have three color options for this shoe. Here we have the red ones. You also have a metallic blue and a black. This is one of Yonex's premium shoes and as expected with the premium finishes and the BOA lacing system, it's definitely on the higher end and it's gonna run close to $200. Obviously, this is a little more than some of Yonex's other models, but these are definitely eye-catching and the BOA lacing system is an awesome feature if you wanna get away from traditional shoelaces. That wraps up our review of this shoe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and drop a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.